Hi, I'm Jonathan, and this is you. Um, we represent PipeGuard. Um, we offer early detection of leaks, accurate mapping, and actionable recommendations for pipe leaks. Every day around the globe, 20% of water is leaked. And this isn't just a water problem. Hey, no, it goes beyond that. Uh, when, you're, you're when, uh, a water main when a water main breaks from a leak, the water stops, so you can't take your shower, and traffic becomes a mess, among other issues. Leaks are expensive. For example, last year, the city of Boston lost $17 million of revenue, um, and that doesn't even include uh, the cost of infrastructure repair um, due to leaks. Um, it's not just a US problem either, it's even worse um, outside of the United States. With PipeGuard, we believe that 50% of leaks are preventable. What we offer is um, an early detection system that, is, that enables infrastructure to be managed more predictably. We can detect leaks early, we can map them, and then we can um, enable uh, water network operators to build healthy, happier networks um, through this predictive um, analytics platform. What we're you is going to explain how we tackle this from a hardware point of view. To deliver this promise, what we offer is Robot Daisy. Robot Daisy is a female robot that wears a skirt. When the Robot Daisy is in the pipe, the suction force generated at the leaks is going to pull on Daisy's skirt. Then Daisy knows that there is an uninvited guest, a leak. <laughs> so in my pocket here is one of the prototypes of the Robot Daisy. We took it to Saudi, and we verified that this robot can tell leaks in both plastic and metal pipes. Moreover, it cost me less than eight hours and $350 to make this prototype. So to use Robot Daisy, a technician can put Daisy into the underground water pipes through a junction, like five hydrants. As Daisy flows downstream, it collects data about where the leak is and the magnitude of the leak. Then when, the leak, when Robot Daisy reaches another fire hydrant, we can, it will be captured by a net. When we take Daisy out of the pipe, we can download the information and make a map of where the leak is in the, in the system. This map we provide will be much better than existing technology can do. While competing technologies will tell you roughly a zone where the leak is, Daisy can pinpoint the location of those leaks. Moreover, Daisy can find leaks that's too small for current technologies to find. And Daisy can also tell you the type of leak, if it's a crack or something else. With such detailed information, we, uh, they, uh, with, uh, with such detailed information, we can make a model of how this leak is going to grow. We, can, we will know which leaks will grow into pipe burst and where, uh, when it may burst. Then we can make a recommendation on when those water companies should repair those leaks. So, so far, we already have developed a the plan to go to the market. We already have two uh, partners in two different countries, China and Mexico, and two customers in those regions. Well, especially our partner in China, Banzai, is the largest pipe manufacturer in China. They have access to 900 cities in China. This plan is already in motion. Earlier this year, we took this DAISY to Saudi Arabia, my research project sponsor, and validated that it can find leaks. And then we were able to secure the partnership with a Chinese pipe company. And moreover, we set up a test pilot run in Monterey, Mexico. After that, we'll be ready to launch. So here's our uh, launch and development plan for several years out. Um, we, we have highlighted stages one and stage two. Stage one uses the existing validated technology of DAISY to do the leak detection and mapping. Um, we'll be working with uh, industrial and municipal customers, and well, as we're helping them detect leaks, we will then be um, aggregating data to see how leaks um, can become uh, pipe bursts. And we're rolling that information to build a model that forecasts when bursts will occur. That's then incorporated into a um, enterprise software pipe management solution that we can then, um, that will enable us to do um, follow-on technology development for contamination, training, um, contamination tracing such as lead, as well as in-pipe cleaning and repair. Uh, on the financial side, um, the first two years, we're working on a pilot project um, with our Shanghai-based partner um, on the, the leak detection and mapping. And then, as the forecasting model and enterprise software is ready for rollout, we then hope to achieve 10 cities in the Shanghai area with a revenue of approximately $30 million. So the team that's going to make this happen um, are four humans and one uh, smart robot named Daisy. 
Um, we have a great team of advisors guiding us, um, and we want to thank the Water Prize for your help on this. Thank we're, you very much. We're pipe guard. We find leaks and save water. Thank great. you. Thank you, PipeGuard. Now, judges, you have three minutes for questions. We're going to bring Daniel, our uh, the other team member, on board to answer your questions. So one of the questions we were asked before was what we will do with the prize money. We plan to use the prize money to uh, help us make, uh, produce 10 more of the Robot Daisy and to um, pay for our trip to go to China and do the pilot test. Mm -hmm. Yes. It can go down as small as two inches, um, which is, is uh, uncommon and not, not attained by other types of like in-pipe drones. Uh, maximum size can go uh, toward the size of, um, like needed for transmission lines and distribution lines, so much bigger. Um, you, when you talk about your pilot in Mexico, how long is that pipe that you're gonna investigate? So the current plan with Monterey, Mexico, mm -hmm. they were able to allocate a pipe section of more than 1,700 feet. Okay. And it's a 12-inch pipe underneath one of their street. They already dig up at both ends of the pipe and allow us to inspect the ins insertion point and exit point. Mm -hmm. And this is happening this June. So how long will that take Daisy to scope that? It will take less than three minutes. You're a small team. I mean, you've got four people. How are you going to handle manufacturing and something in China and Mexico? It's, it's pretty spread. Well, we, we're, um, as part of our, um, the, the way we've structured is to work with local service partners. And so going through the connection that we have um, in Monterey, Mexico, and as well as um, Banzai, a large pipe company, we have these allies that are then able to help um, really broadcast our technology out so that we're not um, tied to physically <laughs> between the, the four of us plus Daisy trying to go around the world doing this. Um, we have ways to, to make that um, a lot easier to scale. And the, on the technology side with the manufacturing of Daisy, again, it's, it's about eight hours with a, an unoptimized manufacturing process. It's all in-house. Yeah. Great. So. Okay, great. Thank you, judges, and thank you, PipeCard. Thank you. Thank you.